Picture a thrilling scene. A bustling community of monsters gathers outside the colony house, keeping people locked in their houses. If anyone came out, they would die instantly. Sounds creepy, right? Without any more hesitation, let's dive straight into the electrifying revelation. In the opening scene, we meet the Matthews family, parents Jim and Tabitha, along with their children Julie and Ethan, embarking on an exciting cross-country RV trip. However, fate has other plans as they encounter an unexpected obstacle, a fallen tree blocking their path. Forced to take a detour, they stumble upon a peculiar small town ensnared in a mysterious phenomenon. Winding through its puzzling streets, they find themselves trapped in a loop, always returning to the same spot. As if that wasn't enough, their troubles escalate when another car collides with their RV, causing a chaotic crash. Night falls, and with it, the townspeople rush to help those involved in the accident. Deputy Kenny's car hits an unforeseen spike strip meant for the RV, while Tabitha, Julie, Father Cotri, Jade, Ellis, Boyd's son, and Kenny, on foot, desperately seek refuge in the safety of the colony house before darkness fully descends. Meanwhile, Boyd and the town doctor, Christy, remain behind, tending to the injured Jim and Ethan. Suspense intensifies as strangers gather around the overturned RV, heightening the sense of danger and uncertainty. The Matthews family's once promising cross-country adventure transforms into an unforeseen and perilous journey, thrusting them into an enigmatic world of mystery and suspense. After an arduous journey, the group finally reaches the colony house, where Donna, the leader, grants them entry. Following their safety procedures, Tabitha, Julie, and the unconscious Jade are promptly separated and confined. Meanwhile, Christy, Boyd, and Jim work together to stabilize Ethan inside the RV, all the while sensing the ominous presence of the strangers outside. Boyd and Donna decide it's time to reveal the chilling truth about the town's predicament, the nearby Woods Harbor cunning, shape-shifting creatures that revel in senseless slaughter. The town's inhabitants are unfortunate souls who unwittingly stumbled upon this treacherous place with the first survivor named Victor. Recently, Boyd discovered enigmatic talismans that, when placed within an enclosed structure, have the power to repel these monsters. At the clinic, Sarah becomes a puppet of sinister voices, forced to execute Toby and open the door, unleashing a nightmarish massacre that claims the lives of everyone present, including Kenny's elderly father. As morning breaks, Boyd and Christy guide Jim and Ethan to the heart of the town, while Kenny Kenny discovers the ghastly aftermath at the clinic, overwhelmed with grief. During this time, Ethan catches a glimpse of a mysterious boy dressed in white while peering out of a window in the colony house. Although Donna's strict protocols may have averted immediate danger, it remains uncertain whether Julie and Tabitha perceive their confinement as anything other than a grim ordeal, far from a luxurious five-star hotel experience. Upon waking, Jade receives an explanation from Donna about their curious predicament. Initially, he finds it hard to believe that the the entire town is an intricately designed escape room set up by the now-deceased Toby. Father Cotri takes Jim and Tabitha on a guided tour, unveiling the town's intriguing Choosing Day ritual, where residents can decide between private homes or communal living in the colony house. During the tour, they encounter a peculiar structure at the town center, known as the Box, where wrongdoers are exposed to the monsters overnight. One such soul is Frank, a reckless drunkard responsible for the tragic death of his wife and daughter. Despite Boyd's attempt to save him, Frank refuses, sealing his own grim fate. As choosing day approaches for Jade and the Matthews family, Julie chooses the colony house, while Jade stirs up trouble and ends up at Toby's grave. In a twist of fate, Kenny offers Jade shelter in his house, leading to the Matthews family settling into their separate homes. Meanwhile, the monsters claim Frank's life in the box, leaving them contemplating the chilling irony of their existence within this elaborate escape room. Even the most tragic tales carry a profound, haunting meaning in this sinister game of survival. In a rivet flashback, young Victor stumbles upon a haunting scene of lifeless bodies. In the present day, Ethan recognizes the boy in white from a drawing by Victor, sparking curiosity. Kenny shares the town's ever-changing location with Jade, leaving her intrigued until their conversation is interrupted by eerie static emitting from a radio, which Jade takes away. Julie, now residing in the colony house, regrets her choice of communal living when she discovers the residents share everything. Confronting Tabitha about her and Jim's divorce, which resulted from the tragic loss of their baby, Thomas, adds tension to their relationship. Tabitha returns home, and emotions flare between her and Jim. Meanwhile, Victor takes Ethan on a quest to find the elusive boy in white, leading them to a peculiar tree with an opening capable of transporting objects to different spaces. In another perilous encounter, Jim and Tabitha face a wild dog attack, but Victor manages to scare them away with a pistol. 
At the diner, Sarah undergoes a haunting hallucination, triggering her attempt to harm Ethan, ultimately resulting in a seizure. Outside the colony house, Victor begins to dig a series of graves, raising further questions. With the discovery of the tree's teleportation ability, Victor and Ethan find themselves wondering if it holds the key to escape from the terrifying clutches of the town's monstrous beings. Boyd's suspicions reach a boiling point as he witnesses the distressing physical afflictions plaguing the town's residents, especially Sarah and Ethan, who suffer from debilitating seizures. Burdened by a secret of his own, Boyd confides in Christy, sharing the troubling revelation of developing tremors in his left hand. Fueled by her determined desperation, Sarah takes matters into her own hands, locking Tabitha in a barn and attempting to harm Ethan. However, Nathan, sensing the impending danger, bravely intervenes, sacrificing himself to protect Ethan in a heartbreaking turn of events. Prior to the tragedy, Nathan had courageously disclosed Sarah's sinister plans to Father Cotri, leaving the priest burdened with this dreadful knowledge. As tensions soar within the town, Boyd becomes increasingly aware of the peculiar physical reactions accompanying Sarah and Ethan's seizures. Jim devises a plan to build a radio tower, while he and Tabitha begin their investigation in the basement. During their search, Jade stumbles upon a discarded notebook. At the colony house, the residents gather to celebrate Fatima's one-year anniversary. However, tensions rise when she shares a kiss with another resident, triggering jealousy among some of the inhabitants. Chaos erupts when Kevin accidentally allows a monster to enter the colony house, leading to a swarm of terrifying creatures that claim several lives, forcing the survivors to escape in a van. Victor and Julie follow a mysterious boy dressed in white into the depths of the woods. Their path forward remains uncertain. On the other hand, as night falls, Boyd, Abby, and Ellis arrive in the town. The following day, Katri and Donna explain the village's dire situation, and Boyd steps up, Herman to become a leader, and help the townspeople survive. He organizes the limited resources and ventures into the woods to forage, where he unexpectedly comes across a small herd of livestock. However, amidst his newfound responsibilities, Boyd unintentionally neglects Abby, and her mental health rapidly declines. During a scavenging run, Boyd loses his way in the dense woods and spends a night stranded. Seeking refuge, he stumbles upon a cave surrounded by eerie monsters. To his astonishment, the talismans he acquired earlier proved to be protective against the creatures. Filled with renewed determination, Boyd returns to town, only to find Abby in a state of distress, believing she is trapped in an endless nightmare. Tragically, when she aims her gun at Ellis, Boyd is left with no choice but to shoot and kill her to save his son's life. In the present, Boyd and Ellis struggle to come to terms with the tragic loss of Abby. Determined to uncover the forest's secrets, Boyd sets out into the wilderness with Sarah by his side, while Kenny steps up to become the new sheriff. Donna, Jim, and Kenny rally the townspeople and unveil their ambitious plan to construct construct a radio tower. Boyd's life has taken an unimaginable turn, from the highs of discovering livestock and the protective power of talismans to the depths of making an unthinkable decision, ending his own wife's life to protect his son. In just a matter of days, Boyd's emotional journey has been a roller coaster of challenges and heartache. Like if you enjoyed and subscribe for more content, bye!